All right, so I just got back from the card store where I picked up a couple of classic packs. I've got some 1989 Hoops NBA cards here. I got three of these cello packs of 1981 tops. Excited to open those. And then a couple hangers of 1988 clear. I've got two of those, three wax packs each. Picked up a couple singles. We'll take a look at those at the end. Um, let's get started with our opening this one pack of basketball cards that we bought here. So let's take a look at what we got. Let's see. Johnson, oh, Horace Grant, big fan. Okay, I'm not seeing anything I'm too excited about. Moses Malone, that's cool. I remember watching him. Oh, Isaiah Thomas. That's a nice card. Happy about that. Um, all right, well, that was a little bit of a branch out into basketball. I usually am more of a baseball card collector, but that was kind of fun. Let's take a look at some of these 1981 tops cards here. Looking for some big hits would be like a Carol Baines rookie, a Tim Raines rookie, Valenzuela rookie. Other cool cards would be, oh, and I think I actually see one right here is the Pete Rose. That's something I'm excited about. Very nice. I'm right at the back of the pack. Also noting the 40-year-old stick of bubble gum, or, or chewing gum, uh, my son asked me if he could do a video with that, so I'm going to leave that to the side for him. Um, let's see what else we got here. All right, let's see. So, Bill Garland, Simmons, oh, that's cool. Kansas City Royals team card there. Another team card, the Giants, Cowns, Allenson. All right, not seeing any of the big hits here so far, but we got a couple more chances. Oh, Jerry Royce, one of the longest pitching players in history. Love the look of these cards with the uh, little baseball cap in the corner there. All right, well, that was pack one. I'm kind of happy about that Pete Rose. I'm going to put that up there. Let's try our second chance here. Let's get rid of that uh, stick of gum. And look at that, right on top. Look at that. There's the Tim Raines rookie card. Very cool. Uh, on there with other Expo rookies, Bobby Pate and Roberto Ramos. Set that up there. Oh, Steve Carlton and Len Barker, strikeout leaders for the NL. It's kind of a cool card. Hall of Famer there. Set that to the side. Let's see what else we got here. Weights. Oh, Johnny Bench record breaker card. The Hall of Famer there. And let's see what else we got. Oh, Dennis Eckersley. Look at the hair. Dig that hair on Dennis Eckersley. One of his years with the Red Sox there. Carl Yastrzemski, speaking of Red Sox, that's a pretty cool card. Love that. Another Hall of Famer there. Uh, Blasey, Rasmus, and McLaughlin. Not seeing any of those big rookie cards yet. The Harold Baines, the, uh, we, I guess we got the Tim Raines, but there's an individual Tim Raines rookie card um, where he's not sharing the cardboard with two other players. Um, but here's our, our third chance here. Let's see what we wind up with. Uh, there's a Ron Pruitt, Doug Bird. Oh, Mike Schmidt record breaker card. That's kind of a fun one. Jerry Kuzman. Let's see who else we got here. Maddox. There's another team card. That's the Indians. And here's a third piece of gum. I think my son's going to have some fun with those. I don't know what he's going to do on his channel. But we'll see. Oh, Larry Bradford. There's another Jerry Royce. Still waiting for one of those big hits. Let's see what we wind up with here. Oh, Jose Cruz. That's a nice card. Oh, another Pete Rose. Oh my God, look at that. There it is, the Harold Baines rookie card. That is one of the exciting cards to look for in this set. That is an awesome hit. I'm gonna put that up there with the other hits and we're gonna move on to 88 Fleer. All right, so we've got six packs of 88 Fleer. We've got two of these cellar hangers. Each has three wax packs in it. Cards we'd be looking for in this set would be an Edgar Martinez rookie, 
Ted, uh, Tom Glavin rookie. Other cool cards would be like a Fred McGriff, Nat Williams, Bo Jackson, maybe Mark McGuire. So let's see what we got here. Here's our first pack. All right, oh, got some stickers. It's always nice, set of the gum. All right, here we go, let's get started. Okay, Clayton Ozzie Smith, love that card. He was a big fan of his as a kid. Ozzie Smith was so magical in the field. Andy Van Slyke, love that card, look at that. Not a rookie card, but that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of his. Um, let's see, Dave Maiden, Juan Samuel. Oh, look at that, there's Valenzuela. So I don't get Valenzuela in the 81 tops, but he does show up in the 88 clear. All right, pack number two, let's see what's happening here. There's another sticker card. Let's see, Jeff Blazer, Eric Bell, Kevin Bass. Oh, there's Hal Baines again, Oral Hershiser. Most consecutive scoreless innings record was around that time. Pretty cool, all right. No big hits so far in the 88 clear. Let's see what else we have in store here, all right. Oh, there's one of those headliner cards. There's Tim Raines again. Um, so those were occasional inserts in this set. Let's see, Gary Thurman, Barrett. Oh, there's a National League batting champs card with Tim Raines and Tony Gwynn. Claudio Washington, he was a favorite of mine as a Yankee fan a little later. And then I've got one more cello pack here, or not cello pack, a uh, hanger. And we got three wax packs inside. One, two, and three. Still waiting for something exciting, but the good news is I didn't spend too much on these. These were $2 for each of those uh, three pack hangers. So I'm not too much invested in this, just trying to have some fun, see what we wind up with. All right. Dodson, Keith Moreland, Teddy Higuera. Teddy Higuera, okay, so funny story about him. He pitched the ball that Steve Sachs hit into the um, foul uh, area behind home plate at Yankee Stadium once when I was a kid, and I caught that ball. So Teddy Higuera's always meant something to me. Oh, look at that. There's the McGuire. That's a pretty cool hit. I'm going to stick that up there with the hits. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Roger McDowell. Mike Pagliarulo. Now, as a Yankee fan growing up in the late 80s, everybody loved Pags, and I was no exception. He was not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> I don't think he was even an All-Star, but he was a fan favorite and definitely one of my favorite players. All right, down to our second to last pack here. It was nice getting the McGuire in that last one. There's our stickers. All right, still looking for like a Edgar Martinez, Tom Glavin, maybe a McGriff or a Matt Williams. Let's see what we get here. Tony Jones. Oh, Oil Can Boyd, another cool player there. Oh, Dave Rigetti, the Yankees closer of that era, and Dwight Gooden, of course, the Mets. Uh, incredible starter later with the Yankees as well. And here's our last pack. And then we'll take a look at just a handful of singles I picked out of the $2 bin. Um, but there's our stickers again. See another one of these headliners cards. Oh, Donnie Baseball. Always a favorite of mine. I'm going to set that aside. I love Don Manningly. All right, here we go. Let's see what else we got. Got some... Prospects here, Cecil Espy, I remember watching him. Lance Parrish, oh, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer, that's a pretty cool card. Reggie Jackson, that's a fun card. Even though that is, you know, not particularly valuable, I think I'm just gonna set those aside because I'm a fan. And look at that, there it is. What timing, again, on the last pack, I get the nice hit. There's Tom Glavin's uh, 88 Fleer rookie card. That looks like it's in really nice shape. The centering is not quite perfect. I think we got a little more on the right than the left, but it's in great condition. The corners look great. This is a uh, pack fresh, as they say. So overall, not a bad haul. Um, those 81 tops packs cost me $1.50 a piece, and those sets of 
Uh, three FLIR 88s cost me $2 a piece. So in all, that's two, four, and then 450. So 850 invested in those packs and some pretty cool hits there. Not too shabby. Um, all right, let's take a look at a couple of these singles that I got as well. And we can't, of course, forget the gum and the stickers. All right, so first off, um, I discovered in my old cards the other day, my 88 tops traded David Wells. And I found, and that's his rookie card in tops. And this is his 88 Donruss David Wells, the rookies. Um, I remember friends having this set, the rookie set came in like what looked like a pack of playing cards. You would get like a little little box, like a pack of playing cards and they were all, all the rookies that year. Um, so that was, that's pretty cool. I thought that was a nice kind of compliment to that card. Might make a little lot out of those. This was actually nothing much. This is a 2021 Topps um, Yankees team card, but it was the gold variation. And I, I have the regular one. I kind of like seeing that gold one and it was only a couple dollars. So I, I picked that one up too. Um, here we've got the Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, Panini Prism in the purple variation, that purple refractor parallel. Um, I was kind of surprised to see that in the $2 bin, so I just decided to grab it. Did a quick eBay search, seemed like it's worth a little bit more than that. And then the last thing I picked up is this very cool um, Andy Van Slyke autograph card. Um, and I was a big fan of his as well uh, during the late 80s, early 90s. Um, he was. Uh, on that team with Bonds and, and Benia and those great players. Um, so thought it was pretty cool to find his autograph. Spent a, just a tiny bit more on this one. This was this was an $8 purchase, but I thought it was worth it. And I, I like Andy Vance like a lot. Um, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for watching.